It's been more than five months since Breonna Taylor was killed while three Louisville Metro police officers in plain clothes carried out a no-knock warrant at her apartment for a drug case. Her boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, was there with her. My life changed forever in the early morning of March 13th. I was laying in bed with Brianna around midnight watching a movie. All of a sudden, someone started beating on the door. They refused to answer when we yelled, who is it? 15 minutes later, Brianna was dead from a hell of police gunfire and I was in police custody. The police arrested, jailed, and charged me with murder of a police officer. One of Walker's lawyers spoke about the incident. The police have alleged all along that Kenneth and Kenneth's one shot somehow hit off dramatically. We, we, we absolutely do not concede that fact. It is obviously possible, but until we see the ballistics report and reflects that, then we think it is much more likely that one of the 35 to 45 shots fired by LMPD is what struck off of some Mattingly. In regard to Walker's civil suit filed yesterday, Louisville Metro Police say they will not comment on pending litigation. Another one of Walker's lawyers spoke about the emotion behind the lawsuit. So his entire life has been changed. Not only is the love of his life gone, right? And he has to deal with that. But let's also talk about the potential psychological effects of being shot at that many times in the dark and the trust or lack thereof now for the criminal justice system and how they treated him. His name is all over the world that they've charged him with this. So that's just the beginning. The charges brought against me were meant to silence me and cover up Brianna's murder. For her and those that I love, I can no longer remain silent. Claire Kopsky, LEX 18 News.